Okay, we're back for the next installment of the PAS, uh, Percussive Art Society, International Conference or Convention Exhibit Hall Walkthrough. Uh, I'm not going to give a long introduction because if you watched part one, you know what this is about. So here we are in the next part. Let's go. Hey, what's up, Sule? Hey there, we are still at it because <laughs> we did not get to the quiet side. Let's check it out. Check it out. Ah, look at that. Giant drum. And of course, everybody's favorite. You got more tongues. More camera. Nice. I like that that's very lap sized. Yes, that's the point. Take a tongue and look at this. That's a multi sided. Yeah, very I have cool. one of those. Yeah, yeah the Baba Tong. Put it in your lap and play both sides. Cool. And right. they got kalimbas, different kinds. Oh, look at this one. Double. Whoa. <laughs> Let's have play it. with your friend. Here, play with Gabriel. Come on, my student. Right. <laughs> All right, that's nice. Look at that. Of course, it's hard to hear. It's, it's hard to hear on. in here. But so, would you put that on a drum head, and then you can amplify it that oh, way? Oh yeah, that would be a lot of fun. Yep. Or a table. Yeah. Right, tabletop. Yeah, drum heavy would be really good. Yeah. Put it on top of djembe or a conga. Yeah. Which is what and I do with have a natural stuff. amplifier. Yeah. All right. That's nice. Which are one of these? Yeah, those are beautiful. I'll try to get super close. Nice. We'll just pretend the bells are part of the sound. <laughs> it's complimentary. And space drums. Space drums. We have one over here. <laughs> I ain't these things, you know, you gotta find the tone. <laughs> See, that's how easy it is. That's how easy it is. Oh, yes. the Zenkos, yeah. Okay. Do we play them here or? Maybe on the stand. On the stand, okay. Yeah. Oh, it goes right on the cymbal stand. Look at that. Very cool. Right on the stand. And there's a special adapter for it too. Wow. That's nice. So you could add it to a percussion setup very easily. together. We play well together. Yes. Yeah, a few traces. 
samples of your products. Sound samples. <laughs> Not product samples. Well, we, uh, we have a page on our website <laughs> that has everything. Oh, you have sound samples on your website. Yeah. Okay. We have 46 different styles. So if you want some finger symbols, this is a place. This is Soraya and Symbols. Riverside. It's 1970. Oh, great. Wow. Nice. Look the German silver. Beautiful. Try the Altage. Altage. The larger one. Altage. Yeah. More is better. How about these little guys? Really nice. Super delicate. Concert mastery. Whoa, these are heavy. Pretty heavy, yeah. 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 This is like three yeah. times the weight. Center four for dancers is 14 ounces. Wow. Wow. And they're, and they're beautiful. I'm going to get some close-ups of the... Designs? The artwork, yeah. Uh, I don't know if it'll focus, but... Wow. I like these the best of you. Yeah. Wow. The other, the other really popular nice. family is the Afghanis. Yeah. So as you go from brass to... Bronze to nickel silver, you uh, go up in tone. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Can you do this? Uh, you can't mix them, but you're gonna. Right, the pitch is gonna. Get two be... tones, but uh, we have some dancers who use brass on one hand, silver on the other. Oh, I see. To play two tones. Uh -huh. Have a future in the dance world. <laughs> I've been told that twice. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Right, thank you. These are sweet. These are yeah. Sweet. The rings. Yeah, nice. That was Let's see. my favorite. So. Wow, beautiful. And what is that material? Is that mostly brass? Well, so complex, yeah, a lot going on. And then, how would you, how do you describe these? These. Uh, oh, this is an old German design. The, the curvature to it. An old German old design. Hammer. Uh huh. Wow, nice. A little drier. Wow, still a lot of complexity. A lot of layers. Yeah. And then, what's with the rings? It's just to reflect the history of the instrument. These are the way. The triangle would have looked oh, really? two and three and four hundred years ago. Oh wow. I've done a lot of research into Oh I see. Oh, okay. So here's the book, here's some books. 
If people want to research this uh, through your website or online, where do they go? Uh, to livingsoundtriangles.com. Okay, livingsoundtriangles.com. Wow. And that's a different design with the split in the on the side. Yeah, they're so interesting, each one. It's like its own personality. Yeah. All right, that concludes our walkthrough of the 2019 PASIC Exhibit Hall. I hope you enjoyed that. I did my best to give you, you know, a taste of the instruments, the sounds. I realize it's very difficult to get good audio or discrete audio. I did the best I could with the gear I had, which is what we do always, right? Even on a gig, you do... Um, you do the best with what you get, and that's the important thing. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I know, um, you know, you probably have some questions and things, so leave them in the comment section, as always. Thank you very much for being a part of World Drum Club, for joining me and, and your colleagues around the world. Um, I want to just say a big shout-out to everybody around the, the world who's helping our community of drummers and percussionists. There's so many artists, there's so many people that I want to connect you all with, so... If you'd like to help us do a better job with that and get more people involved in World Drum Club, please become a supporter and a patron at patreon.com slash Kalani. That's World Drum Club uh, for a pittance every month of support. You can help, you can help us um, do the job we want to do for all of us and help, help spread the word, bring you great information. Uh, all right, so thank you so much. I'm Kalani, your host and teacher here at World Drum Club. Um, I'll see you all in a future video.